Alrighty, so this time we have the American League All-Stars. Last time we did it with the NL All-Stars, the rebuild, and it, it went pretty good. We won. We won at least one World Series. If you guys missed it, it's going to be right here in the top right-hand corner. Go and click that. It'll take you to the video for the NL All-Stars rebuild. So with today's video, we're going to do the AL All-Stars and see how it goes. Like we did with the NL All-Stars, there are a few players that are missing in the lineup. We'll talk about those in a second. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below. I'm saying for 500 likes on today's video, as well as hit that subscribe button. We're very quickly approaching 15,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit that by the end of this month. That would be amazing. It'd be our biggest month ever, and it'd be pretty cool to see that. It'd be just another milestone to keep growing this community that we have here. Like You guys have been amazing with the support. I can't thank you all enough. So, in the comment section, again, let me know who you think is going to win this this all-star weekend, this all-star game, the AL or the NL. I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. They got some a lot of new guys in the all-star game this year, so it'll be pretty cool to see. So let's get into the video. Let's talk about the lineup. Alrighty, like I did mention, we are missing a couple players. So we're going to go with the starting lineup, and then we'll uh, address who we're missing. We went with a couple reserves that I think will be better as reserves rather than like actual starters so we do have brantley in left we have dj lemayhew trout jd martinez gary sanchez george springer alex bregman jorge polanco and carlos santana obviously tommy lastell is hurt i think there was brandon lau or brandon low from the Rays. he was a replacement but then he got hurt and then um there was another fielder that got hurt hunter pence got hurt so he was out so on the bench we have vogelbach mccann Meadows and Merrifield so with that being said we're missing a couple players we're missing um, Joey Gallo Abre Jose Abreu yeah um, Francisco Lindor Matt Chapman Xander Bogarts Mookie Betts and then Glaber Torres I think that's everybody I think that's everybody I think so um, and then obviously we do have the pitching staff pitching staff's not going to change this is everybody that's involved um, Odorizzi was hurt. He got replaced. Liam Hendricks was a replacement that came in. Jose Barrios was a replacement that came in. And there was one more player that got replaced. And I can't remember who it was. But um, I think that's yeah. I think that's actually all the replacements. Yeah. So you guys can see the rotation here, the bullpen here. This is how it's going to stay. There are no pitching changes that need to be made. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, Charlie Morton was an all-star. And he got replaced by Liam Hendricks. That's who it was. I remember now big brain all right so this is the lineup we obviously will make changes throughout the seasons to see if you know maybe those changes help out the squad but i feel like this is a pretty good team you know good outfield with brantley trout and springer um obviously we do have the changes coming in with joey gallo next season maybe um as well as mookie betts so that'll be kind of fun to see we also got some good infielders coming in with lindor glaber torres matt chapman still available so we'll definitely swap out some players, have a little fun with it. I think this is going to be a really cool rebuild. I think the AL has got a really good team. I think the National League team is a little bit better, but I still think I think the AL has got a little bit more pop off the bat. So let's get into it. Let's see how Season 1 goes with the American League All-Stars. All right, I feel like Season 1 went pretty well. 113 and 49. That's a, that's a pretty good record. I'm, like, I'm assuming a lot of awards, a lot of league leaders. Mike Trout, home runs, RBIs, runs. And a war of 11.3. Gross. Jose Barrios had the most wins and win percentage. So, let's take a look. Awards wise. We got Mike Trout for MVP. That's it? Really? Okay. A little surprising. But let's take a look. See how things went. So, Garrett Cole. Really solid season. Um, Justin Verlander was pretty good. Marcus Stroman. You know, these two actually. Verlander actually is a little disappointing. A 4.4 ERA. A little high. Marcus Stroman's. You know, kind of like that in real life. Uh, this season, he's having a phenomenal year. But this is a little bit more of his realistic ERA and whip. Jose Brios had a phenomenal season. Um, if his strikeouts were higher, definitely a Cy Young winner. And then Shane Bieber, not too bad, not too bad. Um, eh, you know, these are okay. Uh, Presley was very good. Hendricks, the whip's a little high. 1.6 is pretty high for the whip. Chapman struggled a little bit. Shane Green was very good. And Brand ha Brad Hand was good as well looking at the lineup we'll take a look at the bench first Vogelback struggled McCann did pretty solid Austin Meadows did very well and then Whit Merrifield the average is low but I mean good amount of hits or a good amount of home runs for you know his minimal plate appearances um just average is a little low Michael Brantley not too bad LeMayhew not too bad he's usually a little bit better of a hitter in a sim style franchise but I mean not terrible Mike Trout 321 
almost 50 home runs and 132 RBIs. JD Martinez did quite well. Gary Sanchez did well. George Springer, Alex Bregman, I mean, Jorge Polanco, and Carlos Santana. Like, everybody hit the ball extremely well in the lineup besides, like, these are our two worst, and they still hit 260 and above, which is phenomenal. It's a good thing to see. So, let's hop into it. It's playoffs time. We're going to be playing the Indians. And if we lose this, we're eliminated. Okay. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna let Barrios go. And we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, okay, we didn't score. That's a little disappointing. Can we get can we get a run? We got two hits. They now have two hits, double play. Okay. George Springer gives us the lead. Okay. At least it's a run. We do have the lead. I feel like with this lineup, we should be putting up like 40 runs a game. All right, J.D. Martinez is on. First and third. You know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to take the chance. Base is loaded. Fielders... Oh, I've been trying to sack fly, and we just can't get the sack fly down. So there was a wasted opportunity. Oh, they do it on their own. They get the sack fly. So 2 nothing. Um, Jose Barrios is still pitching very well. I don't want to take him out, but I feel like it might be time... As I say that, we are going to take him out now. We're going to bring in uh, Cabrera's up. We'll bring in Green. Now we're going to bring in a lefty. We're going to bring in Chapman. All right, we get out of that. Perfect. So heading into the ninth, we still have that one-run lead. And we're going to bring in Brad Hand because he was lights out throughout the year. There we go. So now we're going to let the CPU handle the rest. We get eliminated, of course. <laughs> That's just how things go. Unfortunately, didn't go too well the first season, which I think for the NL, the first season they made it to the NLCS. I think I might be wrong. It was either they got knocked out first series or they made it to the NLCS. So, I mean, good record, poor performance in the playoffs. Let's get into season two. Let's make a couple changes and see how things go. Alrighty, so season two, again, you guys can see the progression of the players. The big jump was Jose Barrios. We got Bieber up to an 85. Stroman's up to an 86. Verlander's dipped quite a bit which is a little disappointing but you guys can see the rest of the the bullpen as well it looks pretty solid i feel like maybe our bullpen's kind of the weakest area but the lineup looks good we've added lindor we've added glaber torres joey gallo and jose abreu so all we have left are chapman bogarts and mookie Betts to add next season so i think that'll be a good one we can make jd martinez move for mookie Betts. third base maybe Chapman comes in or maybe Chapman comes in to play first we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to get him in and then Bogarts I don't know shortstop second base ah, this, this one's tough I don't know where Bogarts is gonna fit but we definitely made some moves I feel like the lineup looks really strong Joey Gallo's only playing down because he's not playing every single day um, which is tough but I don't really know how to get him in every single day I mean look at the squad it just looks just looks unreal unless we play him as like a dh every single time but even then it's not like he's an everyday player so it's tough we'll try to figure out a way to make it work but i mean the team looks really good um we may go like that for the lineup but season one little disappointing with the way everything went you know we didn't make it past the first round of the playoffs we lost to the wild card team so hopefully second season we can at least push towards the world series maybe get into the world series we'll have to wait and see all right so we broke a record 121 wins so this team is killing it in terms of the wins we just gotta we gotta produce in the playoffs so league leaders jd martinez killed it I actually almost got rid of jd martinez because that we brought in joey gallo but i guess it was a good idea to keep him in francisco lindor had the most hits trout with runs and then jd martinez just killed it okay justin verlander best win percentage jose barrios looks really good cole so it looks like the starting pitching picked it up too any awards a triple crown okay there's good that's a good thing silver slugger mvp hank aaron gold gloves cy young and brad hand got the delivery man of the year so seven like award categories won. that's crazy to think so gary cole had a phenomenal season you guys can see that there like just crazy good crazy good numbers jose barrios same thing i mean again if he would have had more strikeouts he probably would have won the cy young um shane bieber Struggled a little bit, but not not horrible. Four ERA is not terrible. Again, Marcus Stroman, the whip is what kills him. That's a little high. And then Burlander. 
it's not bad that's actually pretty solid that's a lot better than what he did last year but he is decreasing very rapidly so maybe giolito moves into the starting rotation next year because he had a very very good season we got hendrix here struggled quite a bit high whip high era green did decent means okay um chapman all right maybe looks a little bit better in the setup role presley struggled so we're gonna actually gonna flip him with green and brad hand was the closer that we needed so lineups wise let's take a look the bench hit the ball pretty well everybody hit it very well actually 260 and above very solid so lindor hit 300 as our leadoff man with 33 home runs crazy good numbers uh bregman was a little low on the average but still very good with home runs and rbis 310 for mike trout with 36 homers and 100 rbis um our top four had 110 plus rbis every <laughs> oh man that's a lot of rbis for your first four hitters um jd martinez we've already seen is just unreal um, we got Gary Sanchez, 247, which is kind of like a Gary Sanchez average, but good amount of home runs, good amount of RBIs. Austin Meadows, 291 with 18 home runs and 80 RBIs. Not going to complain about that. Glaber Torres, solid season. Joey Gallo, Joey Gallo numbers, high RBIs, high, high home runs. And even Carlos Santana hitting above 300 with almost 30 home runs. I mean, this team produces runs at a scary, scary rate. So let's see if we can actually produce in the playoffs while we take on the rangers and we're facing you know a tied series we're facing elimination again against a wild card team which when you win 121 games in a season you you think you would be able to win right you'd think you'd be able to get past them so let's see what we can do so, really they're gonna take the lead on us and then i'm gonna i'm gonna predict like maybe four hits for us throughout this entire game unless something crazy happens i don't i don't really see anything changing so two hits through four two hits through okay three hits through five so we tied up the game so that's a good start can we do something with it though okay we get another run so my my hit prediction was wrong but it's a tie game hmm seventh inning we, we need to get a run in this time come on Sack fly, Mike Trout, you can do it. There we go, perfect. Garrett Cole, you're gonna be done. We're gonna bring in, hmm, Chapman. Smart idea, all right, perfect. Come on. All right, we're gonna bring in the man, Brad Hand, who was lights out, and we actually advanced. That is a really good start, so, okay. Not gonna freak out just yet, <laughs> but uh, with the way we've been pitching, who knows? And we're actually gonna put Giolito as our fifth starter just because Verlander's been dipping a little bit overall. So let's see how things go It was so much easier than the last series. How is how is that possible? And then we're gonna we're gonna get our starting rotation looking looking nice. All right, so Yeah, let's do that and I feel like going against the Cubs here. We should have a good good chance of winning a World Series You know what since we have a 3-0 lead let's hop into a quick manage game see how things go Let's see if we can get the first World Series this year do we go Strowman or Giolito we'll go Strowman we'll go Strowman we'll keep the lineup the same so let's get off to a hot start not the start we were looking for um, we do get a single okay double play and zip so not the best all right we're going against you Darvish maybe he'll you know throw away a playoff game like he did with the Dodgers maybe tip some pitches maybe tip some pitches that'd be nice Strowman gets us out of it there we go perfect we still hold on to that two run lead come on anything here bases loaded with one out Mike Trout oh perfect he's clutch he does the job we have a four run lead for Stroman who's got a crazy amount of stamina left like his his bar just hit three quarters so we should be good he's even getting on base okay we get another run with Mike Trout five run lead Stroman hasn't even hit close to halfway for his energy so I'm feeling pretty confident with what he's doing and it's looking like Unless something crazy happens, which is definitely possible with the way I've got, you know, manage games. We're looking like a World Series here. There it is. The Tigers have won the World Series. Who would have thought? The Tigers. Well, I guess it's the American League All-Stars. And that's, there's one World Series in the bank. In the bag. In the bank, bag, whatever you want to say. We got the playoff MVP, Mike Trout. And then the Glaber Torres was the World Series MVP. So Trout throughout the playoffs had six home runs. 17 RBIs and a 367 average. He was 
clutch as can be, especially in that last game. He definitely produced. And so we have one more season to try to win one more World Series. And that would be one more than the National League did. So I think this team can do it. We're also going to be adding three very good players in bets. Xander Bogarts and Matt Chapman. I don't know how we're going to get him into the lineup. We're going to try to. Let's get season three started. Maybe win two World Series throughout this rebuild. All right. Season three. Last chance to beat the National League and World Series titles. You guys can see this is the starting rotation. Um, Verlander is a 76. So he's definitely not going to be our starter. I'm thinking more of a long reliever. Um, Giolito doesn't look bad. But John Means looks like an option too. And I just don't know who to go with here. Um... I, you know what? We'll give John Means. We'll give John Means the the start in the rotation, and then that's how our bullpen looks as well. When we look at the lineup, we've added Chapman at first. Bogarts is kind of a platoon player for us, and then also Mookie Betts is joined. So we have again a very stacked lineup. We did lose a little bit of power with JD Martinez, but we do still keep Joey Gallo. So he's kind of like our only lefty bat besides Austin Meadows. So overall. I still think the team's got plenty of offense. I'm just a little bit worried with the pitching now. That's that's my biggest question mark. I, I like the, the starting rotation. I just don't know how the bullpen's going to work. So again, let's see how things go. I'm optimistic, but I don't think this is going to be another 121 win season. So let's see if we get our second World Series. Alrighty, so 113 wins isn't bad. 49 losses. And once again, we're taking on the winner of the wild card. So... League leaders, I'm expecting quite a few. Mike Trout, is that not average? Okay, so we got Lindor up there as well. War for Mike Trout was like 10.2. So again, a crazy, crazy high war. Looking at MVP, Mike Trout won it. Hank Aaron, gold gloves. And we got, again, delivery man for uh, Brad Hand. We've had the last three MVPs as well, so that's kind of cool. So Turnbull... Alcantara why why are they bringing up these guys that means something bad happened here so can we add them to the playoff roster yeah there's no reason why these guys should be up here so we got to get rid of these guys uh, he's part of the team he's not okay so where's my where's my man Justin Verlander's all the way down here oh man all right so we got to get rid of him and who'd they send down Shane Green that's who they sent down not too sure why but we got it we gotta we gotta keep the team as is makes no sense why we should break start breaking it up so looking at the squad everybody else I think is good so let's take a look at how everybody did everybody from the starting rotation besides Stroman had a sub 4 ERA our first three did very well so that's good to see. Stroman, you know, I think he's had, what, a four every year? Yeah, L a little disappointing. John Means, not bad. That is, that's a solid season for a starter right there. I, I'll take it. G. Lito struggled a little bit. Vertlander is down to a 71. He struggled a little bit. Shane Green was good. I don't know why they sent him down. He was phenomenal this year. Um, Presley was so very solid. Chapman, oh, pff, those are gross numbers. S 0.77 whip sub 1.5 era that's just and same with brad hand these guys are lights out um i'm gonna put shane green here because he looks like he's a solid setup man looking at the lineup um our bench meadows struggled um so did james mccann whit merrifield very solid uh george springer solid as well lindor almost 300 100 rbis in the leadoff spots gross with 33 home runs bregman Again, very solid, o above 300 average, 33 home runs. So it's six, over 60 home runs between our first two uh, batters. Then you add Mike Trout, there's 40, there's, four, there's 100 in your first three spots in the lineup for home runs. Mookie Betts adds 18 with a 329 average. Joey Gallo with 37 home runs, 104 RBIs. You got Glaber Torres, Gary Sanchez with almost 40 home runs, Xander Bogarts. And then Matt Chapman. So offensively, you know, couple couple weak spots, I would say, in terms of just like power. But it's still a very strong offensive lineup. A um, couple players over here a little worrying. You know, Liam Hendricks had a little bit of a high ERA. Justin Verlander struggled a bit. But, you know, he's aging. 
he's not going to be as good. So let's see how things go. We're taking on the Yankees. We swept them. Awesome. So heading into this matchup, let's get our let's get our lineup right. So Garrett Cole is going to take over there. Boom. And then we'll go like that. I mean, I feel like with what we just did to the Yankees, we should have no problem taking on the Rays. And we don't. So again, we're taking on the Cubs in the World Series. And 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two, so let's hop into it. So again, this is for the most. This is between the AL and the NL. We might have more World Series here for the AL, which I might have just jinxed it. It's definitely possible. So um, let's see how things go. Okay, good start. Good start. Not offensively, but you know, a good pitching start. Okay, first and second, no outs. We we got to take advantage of this. There we go, Xander Bogarts. Okay, we got a two-run lead. Let's keep going. Come on. Let's, let's add more. Mike Trout adds two more runs. So two two-run innings in a row. Can we keep it going? We can't. All right. Maybe a little pattern forming. Maybe we can go 0-2-2-0-2-2 two, two, zero, two, two again. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. So I got I got a little too um, excited about it, keeping a pattern going. Unfortunately, it didn't work. And we still got that four-run lead. Garrett Cole's pitching very good. Like He just hit halfway on his stamina so we're gonna keep him going we start off with the double all right four runs is still kind of close but it doesn't matter that's a second world series and it's looking like the al is better than the nl and i mean garrett cole just pitched nine innings two hits with 12 strikeouts in game six of the world series talk about a clutch pitching performance so looking at the playoff mvps lindor and World Series MVP was Lindor. So, I mean, those are good numbers. Those are very good numbers. Let's take a look at how the pitching rotation did during the playoffs. I mean, Marcus Stroman came to came to pitch. John Means and his his outings did very very well. 0.64 ERA, a sub one WHIP. Those are that's good over 14 innings. Garrett Cole very solid. Jose Barrios was our worst, and those I mean aren't even horrible numbers at all. Um, long reliever struggled a bit. Hendricks was good. Presley was okay. But when, yikes, Chapman. Whew. Um, Shane Green was lights out. And so was Brad Hand. So when it mattered, you know, our, our one-two punch of Green and Hand was very solid. Um, looking at the bench. Meh. Bench was mad, but it's looking like the lineup really carried it. Bregman struggled a bit. Lindor was very good. Trout, 270 about. Not terrible. I mean, that's, you know, four home runs, 11 RBIs contributed a lot Mookie Betts did very well five home runs 16 RBIs very high average Joey Gallo for 270 average that's not bad for Joey Gallo Glaber Torres did well um, Gary Sanchez added some home runs and RBIs Xander Bogarts uh, game six he did, you know had that two run bomb so that was good and then Matt Chapman you know at a 92 hit in ninth I mean that's that's saying something about the lineup so overall AL was better than the NL in terms of winning World Series and it probably wins as well I'm, I'm pretty sure by wins, they just was like 110 plus wins every single season almost. So they're just, there was, that was a scary good lineup. So that's, that's it for the all-star weekend, like lineup, rebuild, whatever you want to call it. Again, guys, in the comments down below, let me know which team you think is going to win. You think it's going to be the AL or the NL for the all-star game. And that's, that's about it. Again, let's try to hit 500 likes on today's video. As we're approaching 15,000 subscribers, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know, that'd be awesome to hit by the end of the month. That would be our biggest growth month this like this year. And it would just be awesome to see on the channel. You guys have been amazing with the support. You guys have been just always asking when's the next video. So I'm like really appreciative of all that. You guys really like the content and I'm enjoying bringing you guys content. So let's keep it going. Let's, let's have some fun on this channel. And that's about it, guys. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.